This is a program that I wrote in C-sharp class. Uh, the original assignment was to uh, change an integer into uh, words so that if you had 1, 2, 3, 4, it's going to s print the words 1,234. And then if you wrote the words 1,234, it would print the, the uh, digits 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, but um, the way that the assignment was written, we were supposed to use integers, and that would limit you to uh, um, to 2 billion uh, and a little bit over that. Um, having been a math teacher, I know there are lots of really cool names way above a billion, and I really would like to use them all. And uh, so I asked the teacher if I could uh, uh, augment the assignment uh, so that uh, I could uh, do what it took to use all of those names that I was able to find. And he said, sure, go for it. So I, instead of using an integer, I've got a string of digits that I deal with. Okay, so I can enter the number. It, it can have commas or not. like that, or I can put it in without digits, and it will handle up to uh, just a little over 300 digits. I believe it was 306 digits, and at that point I was unable to find any names to describe uh, those large numbers. I also have it set up so that um, it can tell uh, whether you've got a regular number, oh, I also added scientific notation as well, uh, or scientific notation or the number name. Uh, so if you put in like three, it recognizes that. And notice the scientific notation, you've got uh, three and then the decimal point and then any other digits that are involved, if any, and then you have an E and whatever the uh, E means 10 raised to the power of whatever follows. So in this case, this is 3 times 10 to the 0 power. Um, if you had like 3,000, then the scientific notation is 3.0 um, E to the third. So you've got three, um, three zeros to the right of that 3 or three decimal places to the right of the three. Well, that's about what I wanted to show you. Um, uh, look for these in some apps that I'm going to write uh, for uh, uh, mobile devices. Uh, and I will also be uh, adding uh, Roman numerals to this soon, I hope. Thanks for watching.